welcome to RK Tutorials. Solutions to Engineering Mechanics, 5th edition by S. T. Moshenko, D. H. Eng, J. V. Rao, Sukumar Patik. In this video, we will solve the problems at 2.1 and the problem number 2.6. Draw the free body diagram of the boom BC and point B as shown in the figure. Now this is the given figure. In that there is a boom BC. One end is fixed to a fixed support EF and at the other end B a string is connected a b a b uh, d is a string at the end of the d a weight q is attached now our interest is to find or draw the free body diagram of bc and at a point b the formulas or concepts required to solve the problem is if any system contains the string or cable or ropes etc the force is along the axis and it is away from the support similarly if the system contains any bars or struts or booms, the force is along the axis and the direction will be decided whether it is a tension or compression is based on its equilibrium condition. Similarly, if any body is supported with wall or floor or trough etc there is a reaction force developed on the body and that reaction force is always perpendicular to the support and it is towards the body okay so with this concept let us go to the solution of our problem we are interested to draw the free body diagram of bc and also the free body diagram at B. Now let us discuss one by one. Let us consider the string AB. The force in the string AB is along AB and it is away from the support. That means if you look at that point B, B is the support and the force is away from point B and this magnitude is S1. Let. Similarly, if you look at the same string AB from point A, then the force is along the string AB and it is away from A, that is S1. Okay. Similarly, you consider this BC. Now, at the end of this BC, if we are applying a force in the downward direction, that means the boom BC is in compression. If boom BC is in compression, let that force is S2. Next, let us consider the string BD. Since it is a string, the force is along BD. And if you look at from point B, it is away from point B. Or if you look at from point D, it is away from point D. What is the magnitude of that? Let us discuss like this. Just consider the weight D and the string here. Since weight is acting in the downward direction, the force in the string must be upwards and the magnitude is Q and from point D. To satisfy the equilibrium condition, if the force is acting in the upward direction from point D, it must be downwards from point B. 
and this is the this is the direction of the force in the string bd and which is away from point b and the magnitude is q now let us discuss this bc now since the force is acting in the downward direction at point b we can easily observe that the boom bc is in compression that means like this if you look at that same force from point b then this force direction will be opposite to the already force acting on bc that means as far as bc is concerned at b the force is acting in the downward direction but from point b the same force will act in the upward direction to satisfy the equilibrium condition so this is the free body diagram of bc now let us consider the various forces that are acting at point b i am considering my xy axis this is my point b what are the various forces the first force is q acts along bd and it is downwards so this is force acts along bd and downward direction and the magnitude is q the next one is the force in the string ab it is along ab and it is away from point b and the magnitude is s1 so away from point b along ab and the magnitude is s1 and the third force is along bc but it is towards b and magnitude is s2 okay so this is this s2 is opposite to the force acting on bc hence this is the free body diagram of bc and this is the various forces acting at b we would also present the angles made by this s1 s2 and q with the xy axis for that i will consider angle triangle acb in this triangle now just consider the triangle acb in this triangle this angle is given as angle a is given as 115 degrees angle b is given as 35 degrees hence what is this angle this angle is 180 minus of 115 plus 35 okay so this becomes 30 degrees that means this angle is 30 degrees the angle made by bc with the vertical is given as 35 similarly the angle made by the bc with the same vertical must also be equals to 35 because the opposite angles must be same that means angle between s2 and q is equals to 35 degrees this is the free body diagram of b my dear friends and students if you want the solution for any of the subject in the field of machine design namely strength of materials theory of machines machine design engineering mechanics finite element method mechanical vibrations please give the reference in the comment section so that i will solve the problem prepare a video and upload in my channel please subscribe and share my video